<laughs> That's good of you, Marlon, to ask for. I'll pass on your regards, darling. Love you. I love you, love Angel, you. and have a lovely night. Good night. Good, good night, bye. darling. God bless you. Love you, Marlon. Bye. Bye-bye, darling. There you are. Wonderful, brave lady. Marlon from St. Helens. Got multiple sclerosis, and uh, she can still come on and make us all laugh. Blessings to her, I say. Uh, ben from Nottingham. Dinky-doo, Ben. Hi. How, How are you? Doing, you? Scotty? Are you all right, mate? Yeah, I'm doing well. I told you Bill was on earlier, didn't I? Pardon? Bill was on earlier looking for you. Was he? Bill's left you an email. He says, can I leave an email for Ben? And it goes like this. It says, whoop de pop a schlub dub 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 weed I don't know. Yep. Right, okay. Bill and Ben, the flower pot oh, men. Oh, right, okay, yeah, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, are you all right? Are you in this century, or...? Um... Are you living in this century, or...? Are, are you, yeah, are you in, do are you in yeah. Doctor Who's time machine? <laughs> <laughs> right, basically, I wanted to speak to you about the monarchy. The monarchy, yes, no problem. Off, off the subject, well, I mean, I'm sort of not thinking along the same lines as you. I think that the monarchy don't play a role in the current society. That we you, live in you, you, are, are you from Oz? No, I'm not from Oz. You sounded as if you were from Oz there. Well, no, then I'd be like the wizard or the scarecrow or someone like Absolutely, that. Absolutely, yeah. Well, but, I mean, we're paying all these taxes for them to live the life of Riley, you know, they go yeah. and live in their palaces and go and sell. I think you're very, very misinformed there, Ben. Let me just give you a little bit of information and then come back to me and see what you think, right? Okay. These palaces that you talk about, yep. the bulk of them are all owned by the country. They're owned by the state. Yeah. Yes. Now, um, Balmoral in Scotland is owned by the monarch. Right. Right. And uh, that's the monarch of the day. Not the monarch of the Glen, the monarch of the day. Right. Right. Um, I think Sandringham House is similar over in Norfolk. Yeah. And uh, that's about it. The rest of the royal residences are uh, owned by the state. Right. Right. So they are national assets anyway. Right now, so how are they national assets? I don't because they're owned by the state. They are there anyway. The likes of yeah. Buckingham Palace, Windsor Castle, all that. Right. Okay. Now, um, these places. I think I'm right in saying that, but that's the sort of rough side of the picture anyway. Now, these places are are the national assets. They are open to the public. They are there. Yeah. Now, I don't know if you've ever had the fortune or misfortune of living in a big house. No, I haven't. Right. Well, I have to tell you what living in a big house is like. You have staterooms, and then you have staff accommodation, and yeah. if you like, uh, tenants' flats, right? So if, for instance, you lived in uh, Buckingham Palace or St. James's Palace or something, there's all the staterooms, the red drawing room, yeah. the throne room, the, the, the green room, the Chinese room, whatever oh, you want to call them. Rooms. Hey? Why do they need all these rooms? Well, they don't, you see. These are for state occasions. They belong to us. It's like a, a big council chamber, if you like. Yeah. It's the same as the council headquarters in any of the towns or cities in the country. Okay? Yeah. And they were built in earlier days when Britain was truly Great Britain and was really absolutely awash with money. Yeah. Yeah? Now, um... It was really the agricultural revolution that brought up the, the, the rise of the aristocracy in this country. Yeah, sure. because the aristocracy prior to that had more or less been in the grant of lands from the king for doing him a favor. And the rest of us were all peasants and serfs, yeah. right? Yeah. Now, the world is a better place to live in now than it's ever been. I can tell you that. Right. Oh, actually, yeah, I agree. Living as a peasant and as a serf in the old days, dreadful. But yeah. as a serf, you actually put yourself into serfdom. Yeah? Right. Because what happened was when you reckoned you were poor or you couldn't afford to feed yourself or you were elderly, you went and you spoke to the lord of the manor or to the monarch or whatever, mm -hmm. and you put yourself into serfdom. And if you were in serfdom, you were actually looked after. They had an obligation to look after their serfs. Right. Yeah? Yeah, but... So, no, 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 wait, just, just stick with me. Now, that's the history. Now, then we decided, yes, mm -hmm. that we would do without a monarchy. So we divided Charles the First into a head and a body, right? <laughs> and we had, we had um, that clown um, Cromwell, Oliver Cromwell, yeah. a dreadful, dreadful period in this country, right? 
Uh -huh. And, uh, of course, the power of Parliament uh, was taken over and what have you. Now, the, the monarchs, the likes of Charles I was an absolute monarch. He believed in absolute, absolute power. Absolute power to the yeah. king. And now we have constitutional monarchy. Well, do we really have constitutional monarchy? Oh, yes. Because we don't have a constitution, though. Well, we do, well, we do actually. You see, you'll well, find that our, well, our parliament, for instance, yeah? Yeah. I mean, Great Britain and all its dominions and protectorates and crown colonies beyond the seas, right, are in the care of Her Most Britannic Majesty. Right? Yeah. Now, uh, that's they what... They don't actually have any over... Oh, over, yes, any yes, yes. Oh, no, no. No, 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 no. Listen, listen. You're not seeing the big picture here, Right. Right. And as we decolonized and handed back places that we'd occupied and administrated and, and taken our religion to and what have you, we handed all that back through a process of decolonization. Yeah. Yeah, the empire um, started to, to uh, uh, be um, dissembled. Yeah. And um, what happened was the Commonwealth was built up. And that's a marvellous thing. And the Queen is the head of the Commonwealth. Well, aren't Australia now having a vote as to whether the Queen should be considered head of the Commonwealth in their, in their part of the world? Yes, yes. Well, I mean, that's up to Australia. They're a bit bonkers, though, because yeah, the, they okay. also are not seeing the big picture. You see, it's great for drum banging until you lose your asset. You know, people love moaning and groaning about something until you lose it and then you end up up to your neck in the brown mucky stuff well i don't know they just seem to cause us more strife with no the there's no strife at all they do you the absolutely yeah. not one single bit of harm right the monarchy well, i don't know you take the example of Prince Charles and Prince William yeah. going out fox hunting. Yeah, but that's I mean, nothing. That's just causing no, it's not causing well, anything. I mean, the government have even the government have even backed politics. down. The government have even backed down on the on the uh, yeah, exactly because of the influence of the monarchy. The monarchy is supposed to keep out of that. No, no. Now just listen to me here, right? In constitutional monarchy, yeah, the parliament is uh, consists of Her Majesty's government and Her Majesty's opposition. Yeah. And we have the British Crown. And it is our job, every single citizen, to defend the realm, to defend Britain's interests. Yeah. Represented by the Crown. Right. And that's our constitution, basically, in a nutshell. Yes? Yeah. I, and I, all I, of it's us... It's not actually written down, though, that that... Well, well, I mean, I, I, mean, I can't you. quote your chapter and verse, the British Constitution, but, I mean, you know, I can, I can go back to the Magna Carta, the Great Charter, if you like, yeah. you know, and all that sort of thing. Yeah. But that's the history of it. And this country has prospered for almost a thousand years, right? And certainly for the best part, just over 300 years through constitutional monarchies, prospered for almost over a thousand years from monarchy and uh, 300 years from constitutional monarchy. Right. And there are certain forces at work throughout the world who would love to see us deprived of our, our, our monarchy. I think the majority of the British public would. I mean, if no, you no, this is where you're right. absolutely wrong. The you majority the of the opinion polls. No, no, never mind. Think... Listen, never mind all that, right? Do not credit the British public with voting for things like this in full and secure knowledge of what they're talking about. Because it's so easy to say, you're rich and I'm not. Yeah, but I don't think it's a question of jealousy. Oh, it's a question of dreadful... No, it's a question of misunderstanding. It's a question of not seeing the bigger picture. It's a question of not realising the value of an asset. Mm -hmm. Right? Now, what the royal family bring in for this country is absolutely... It's almost unmeasurable. But they're, they're human beings the same as you and me. Yep. So they're here for a lifetime, and then hopefully we'll have the next generation will take over. And they're groomed to do a certain job. And my goodness me, you know, Her Majesty the Queen has done a fantastic job oh, for this country. Yep.
a fantastic job and her family and prince philip and charles and anne and and andrew and edward you know that they're a credit to this nation now okay so certain members of the family have 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 been victims of circumstances in the same way that all of us any of us could be so they happen to be normal people oh dear me so let's give them a hard time because they're normal people but if you look at what's brought in financially, what is brought in 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 uh, intangible assets, goodwill, we've just done three and a half billion quid's worth of business with China. Yeah. You know, and uh, uh, it's it's fantastic. It's what we're all surviving off. And do not bite the hand that feeds you. They're not really the hand that feeds us. Yes, they are. they are. No, please sober up. Think again. <laughs> what have I just said? Changed. What have I just said? Right? Her Majesty's I, I, government. I heard, I heard Her Majesty's said. opposition. Yeah. Yes, our, our, our defence forces, you know, serving the Crown. And the Queen is the representative officer of the Crown. Yeah, but does she really represent Britain? Yes, of course she does. She is the figurehead. It's, it's Britain of the past, though. It's not Britain... No, it's not Britain of the past. It's very much Britain of the future. And in time, you know, when things move along and take the natural processes, you know, we'll have King Charles yeah. and King William and, 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 and all the rest of it. And if we lose that, you know, then we are finished as a major power. I'm not, I'm not saying, in a sense, that we should lose it. I'm just saying that if you take the example of Spain where the kings and queens actually go out and work and they raise... Listen, hey, 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 excuse me. No, listen, excuse me. Again, no, listen, you really must stop talking out of your bottom, right? Right. Never mind Spain and all that great stuff, Spain and Holland and Denmark and Norway. Yeah. And, but our royal family, right, have got tremendous style. Right. Everybody knows who they are. They work tirelessly, absolutely tirelessly for the good of the British nation at home and abroad. Yeah. Right? If you were to check the Queen's diary, Prince Philip's diary, I mean, you've got to remember, you know, these people are in the... Yeah. You know, these... I mean, in fact, in... night in uh, Prince Philip will be... looks absolutely superb. Apart from the fact he's always falling asleep. At no, he's not place. always falling asleep. Will you stop being so sarcastic? Could you do that job? Could you get up at five in the morning and go to Leeds, to Manchester, to the north of Scotland? I've, no, I've never seen him going... There at five o'clock in the morning. How stupid are you? That's what they have to do. They're waking with a cup of tea at five o'clock in the morning. Good morning, Mom. Good morning, sir. Cup of tea and up you get. And they get in a train, a helicopter, a plane, and they go round doing various things for the country, all over the country, all over the world. Right. They have a very, very punishing schedule. And then the Queen walks late on into the night in her private office signing papers giving things the royal assent um uh, bills of path bills that have gone through parliament they have to get the royal assent to become an act an act of parliament so the whole legal and judicial system of the country goes through parliament uh, via buckingham palace well, no, the Queen can't influence a law that's been passed in Parliament. That's exactly what the Queen does. She doesn't need to influence it. We've got Parliament for that. Yeah. But she gives it her assent. Everything that goes out goes out in her name. Elizabeth R. Yeah, but she doesn't actually create these rules. No, but that's what you've got Parliament for. That's what you've yeah. got Her Majesty's I Civil say, Service. Her Majesty's Foreign... Eh? If we had the system that they have in America, of a prime minister and a president... We oh, don't be it. so stupid. Grow up. Listen, how interesting's a flaming president? Very interesting to me. Rubbish. Rubbish. You know, a complete piece of nonsense. We have this wonderful asset. We can manage a bit of pomp and circumstance and ceremonial. No other country in the world can manage it. They'd love to ape us. Most of the sort of uh, um, powers that are emerging in the Far East are desperately keen to find out how it's done. Now, you have had a whole lifestyle living in a country right <coughs> off the back of the monarchy you 
You've had a stable currency. You've had stable government. Yeah, but that's not because in the morning. Yes, it is. <laughs> it's exactly what it's because of. What would you like to go and live in Kosovo? No. Right. Well, come on. Stop being so flaming stupid. Yeah, but the fact that is that all a because of has nothing a... to do with the monarchy. Of course it is. Of it's course it is. Parliament does. Yes, parliament uh, exactly, does exactly. And, and what is Parliament? What is, what is Parliament? What is Parliament made up of? House of Commons and House of Right. Lords. What's the House of Commons made up of? MPs. Government and opposition. Yeah. Whose government? Whose opposition? Her Majesty's. Labour government, Conservatives and Liberal Democrats. Doesn't matter what colour they are. One's in power, one's in opposition. Yeah. Her Majesty's government, Her Majesty's opposition. That's just the title, though. That, that's... Well, that's what the title means. How do you think the title got there? Because they got their nails into politics 200 years ago, and now finally... Well, you on about 200 years ago. We have had a monarchy since the year 600 or whatever. Yeah. What do you mean, nails into politics? There's no nails into politics. What you're needing to do... And it's vital that you do do that, because I insist you do not spend the rest of your life in ignorance. You must go to the library, you must go and read through the sections on royalty, on the monarchy, on uh, British history, hmm. and find out how the whole thing was built up. It is the envy of the whole world. And you are one of the lucky beneficiaries. Uh, well... I mean, people say it's the envy, but then they don't know. No, not people the say it's the envy. It is the envy of the whole world. And on what basis are you saying it's the envy? I mean... Every country wishes they had our system of government and our system of royalty. I don't know about that. Of course they do. Of course they do. They're absolutely green with envy. <laughs> They're absolutely green with envy. And you, and me, and all these other people are all riding off the back of the monarchy. They're not riding off the back of us. So, how do they pay for their living then? What, what you're saying, by the money they bring in, but do they really bring the money in? Is it well, of course they do. We've the, just done three and a half billion pounds worth of business with China. Yeah, but is it is it them actually doing it, or is it yes. our prime minister going over and negotiating? Well, it's a it's a countries? it's it's a mixture of a whole process: the Home Office, the Foreign Office, Her Majesty's Government, Her Majesty's Home Office, Her Majesty's Civil Service, Her Majesty's Government, Her Majesty's Opposition, the House of Lords, yeah, Buckingham Palace, St James's Palace, yeah, Windsor Castle. Everybody pulling together to make this country the best country in the world. Yeah, I'm, I'm not denying that. I mean... But why I, do you think it got there? It doesn't just happen. You always must remember, things don't just happen. Yeah. They have to be created and maintained and worked at. Yeah. Okay. You see? Yeah. And you must read up on this. Please, I beg of you. Well, I mean, yes, we've had some monarchs who were better than others. That is the incumbent of the office. At the moment, we've got a cracker. You think you don't think she's lost touch with? Not at all, not lost touch. Really? Heavens above, man! This this lady is at her desk first thing in the morning. She's she's probably the most informed person in the universe. Yeah, but when you see her at Christmas time making her speech. Do people generally actually listen to what she's saying anymore? I don't think they do. Well, of course they do, because it's the Queen. Yeah, but just because it's the Queen doesn't mean you're going to go and listen to her. I mean... No, but listen, you might listen. You the TV, you might not take in what she's actually saying. No, well, you might not take in if you're half daft. But, I mean, it's not terribly difficult to understand the, 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 the Queen's Christmas message. Yeah, but does the message apply to everyone now? Well, of course it does. Of course it does. Instead of mourning and whinging, you should be proud to live in this country. Well, you I'm should be proud to, to be a part of this country. Mm. You know, and it's people like the monarch. It's uh, people like the Queen. It's the monarchy. It's it's the crown that have made this country what it is.
In the past, yes, but... No, in the future, in the present, in the future, in the past. Past, present, future. Absolutely no doubt about it. Mm -hmm. You know, and anybody that thinks otherwise is a fart head. <laughs> you know, an idiot, an imbecile. That's a lot of people you're insulting there. No, they? it's not a lot of people. It's people who haven't seen the full picture. People who have been kidded, right? Yeah. By folk that are jealous about the fact that we invest the power of the government and the, the, the um, administration of this country mm -hmm. in the crown. So, I just are you for or against them getting rid of the um, Queen's boat then, the Britannia? Was it? Well, it, was a, it, was, it wasn't a silly move because the Britannia, she was launched on the 16th of April 1953. So, you know, she was 46 years old, 45 years old when they got rid of it. That's quite a fair age for a, a, a steel ship. Yeah. You know, because I, I wouldn't be surprised if she wasn't welded. She she may well have been riveted. Yeah. And therefore, the plates start to, uh, um, you know, uh, fatigue a little. But it was a wonderful craft. Also, probably not the most efficient form of propulsion. Mm -hmm. But what the Britannia did do, she more than earned her con over the years. And yeah, was a, exactly. she, a, yeah, she was a wonderful example. piece of engineering. Yeah. She supplied a lot of work for, for John Brown's shipyard in Scotland in the 50s, yeah. just after the war, when times were hard, right? Mm -hmm. She doubled up as a hospital ship. She was used in the Falklands. She took the monarch all over the country. She also was used as a floating British palace to entertain foreign dignitaries, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And gave a fantastic display of ceremonial. Yeah. You know, she also looked the part. She also harked back to the days when Britain had command of the seas. Long, long time ago. <laughs> well, no, I mean, it was, only, it was only when it was superseded by air power. Yeah. I mean, it wasn't all that long ago. I mean, air power really only came in, well, it came in at the turn of the century. I mean, the First World War, you had your sop with camels and your SE5s and your Bristols and all that sort of thing. But, I mean, you know, the... the, the Ships really, Britain really had command of the sea till the 50s. Yeah, during the colonial wars. No, or during the, till the 50s, the 1950s. I, I, I don't know if it was until then. I think we we sort of lost track of where of our purpose, where we were going there. Listen, we, we have leaving. never lost track. This country has never lost track. And why has it never lost track? Because we have a stable system of government, we have a constitutional system of government, and we have a constitutional monarch. There is no losing track. We are a tiny, sceptered isle. Yeah. We have 60 million people crammed into this island. Yeah. It is a fantastic phenomenon. We are the fourth, between the fourth and fifth, top power in the world yeah don't weaken is what i say to you you don't know until you've tried do you what you do you mean know. you don't know until you try you don't know if by taking power away from the monarchy whether it in fact help the country it wouldn't in what way could it possibly help the country give it me would. an example of what you're talking about why two questions the i've got for you wait just monarchy. a minute just a minute two questions i need you to answer right. one why would you want to take power away from the monarchy? And two, what purpose would that serve? Take power away because um, I don't think that they have any influence at all over what society thinks. And I think that the money we invest in them could be better spent in improving education, in improving health, in improving public transport and infrastructure. I'm terribly concerned about you. Really? Because I think you're bordering on the half-wit. Right. Right? And I shall tell you for why. We don't invest money in the monarchy. The monarchy invests money in this country. That's yeah. the first thing. We pay for the civil list. Right? That is for the public side of the royal budget. Yeah. Yes? Yes. So that's that. So the monarchy is a bonus. Financially, it's a bonus. Right. Right? That's the first thing. Mm -hmm. There would be no money 
to invest in hospitals and schools and education if this country was not administered the way it is? Yeah, but I mean, have, not having the Queen there isn't going to change the yes, it is. administration. Yes, it country. is. Yes, it is. Because you completely lose track of what this country is about. We lose our identity. We lose our sense of purpose. Mm hmm. Right. That's the problem. Yeah. So, yes, it changes. Plus, the 60 million people in this country. Uh huh. Say I had 60 million quid and I gave it to the people. Yeah. How much does everybody get? One pound. One pound. What are you going to do with it? Buy a bit of hash? <laughs> you know. Well, don't damage your that, brain that with it. That would be illegal, wouldn't it? Yeah, of course it would. So you couldn't do that. No, exactly. That could never be done. No. You know, damage your brain with it. I don't know. That, that That's never been proven, has it? The, the yes, it has. Drugs. Of course it has. Of course it has. My goodness, Psy psychedelic drugs, the serious it's brain damage. It's not a psychedelic drug. Yes, it, it is. It hasn't even proven to be an addiction. Well, I know it doesn't matter because it doesn't happen. It's illegal. It doesn't yeah, exist anyway. Exactly. We're, we're having a hypothetical discussion Absolutely. here. Absolutely. You know, but, but that's the whole point of it. So you've got to decide. Yeah. You know, I mean, whether you want a great country or a duff one. You want a great country, obviously. You know, if you want a great country... You want a monarchy? Not necessarily, I mean... Absolutely necessarily. That's what this country's about. That's what sets us apart from other nations. And other nations would love to get their hands on us. They probably... They, they would, but then they'd soon find out the drawbacks of it. There are no drawbacks in this country. You, it is a bonus. So you're saying you're so completely focused... At that there's no possibility that there's any negative effects of the monarchy at all? No negative effects really? at all. No it's negative nothing. effects at all. Compl everything they do is good? Everything they do is excellent. So you couldn't think of, say, a single situation? Not one single situation. I take my hat off to the lot because I say to myself, I couldn't do the, that job. Yeah. And it's a fantastic job. And I think yeah, we should be going saying around the world. Thank jolly, you, Jolly Vanting. You know, going. To yeah, well, you try it, Chummy. What? You try getting on the planes. You try coping with the jet lag. You try coping when you're in your in your mid seventies with that exactly. sort I mean, of I pressure. Think. And you see how you get on. You report back to this program, right? Yeah. And see how you get on. Well, I'd love to give it a go. Yeah, yeah. Well, you yeah, give it a go. Well, we'll we'll, we'll all have a whip round, and yeah. we'll send you gallivanting, and you see okay. how you cope. I give I'll give you my address, and then. Yeah, and I'll tell you something. Okay. Don't expect me to kiss hands with you. All right, okay. chummy. Hey, dinky do. Dinky do. Dinky do. Scotty McClue's late night phone in. Have you phoned yet? Dinky do.